Good morning, everybody. Jason here after this super long weekend. Actually, a super long week, <laughs> period. But my weekend was super long, just uh, still in the middle of moving. So hoping to get all that stuff wrapped up in the next week or so. I had to do appliances and all that stuff. So that's just super time consuming and, and not nearly as fun as playing in the market. So today, have not made any moves. Today, not planning on making any moves. Just hanging out, chilling. Um, between, yeah, Friday morning, I pretty much had moved everything to, um, like, basically, like, retreat mode. Um, closed out a whole bunch of positions and stuff. Uh, withdrew some cash. And here we are today, Monday, kind of feeling good. Kind of starting, feels like a, a non-stressful start over, kind of re redo situation here. So you can see my my uh my positions now are not you know they're not right on the cusp of um <laughs> like waiting to see whether or not uh tesla bounces twenty dollars or not now we're not having to worry about that so that's just gonna provide a complete stress-free uh few months here you know um and then worst case scenario i'm figuring hey if we had another what did what did tesla do this uh let's see this week this month, hey, if it has another month like this, and it's down to 350, I have enough money. I can just buy a thousand shares, and like at 350, a thousand shares, then I feel like I am just, I could be done. I could be done investing. I just need a thousand shares of Tesla. Um, Ten years, that's three million. That's good. That's my portfolio is pretty done at that point. So. Um, last, last Friday I did, uh, buy a few more shares. So now you can see we're, um, we're sitting at a little over 200 in this portfolio. So we have, um, we're actually almost, we're a little bit above halfway there. Total, total between, uh, different portfolios. We have over 500. So halfway to a thousand there. Um, today we're up a couple grand. We are down a couple grand. Um, and that's, that's just what I expect. Um, everything is so far the money that it's not like a huge move is going to make a huge difference for us at this point. So you can see what we have open here. Um, this week, um, boy, what do we have? Hey, we have a lot expiring this week. So we have our put credit spreads down at 500, 450. We actually opened up an iron condor. Um, we have 200 shares now, so it did sell some 800 calls. So those are, those are, um, covered calls, um, stock covered calls right here. And then I have three call credit spreads, which I normally absolutely don't do just cause honestly, um, it just scares me more that Tesla could skyrocket. Then it drop. It just always has, it probably will, um, as soon as, as soon as like, I feel like the next big thing, I mean, maybe some people will react to semi truck or whatever like that. But as soon as the autonomy, um, as soon as that gets some level of certainty, like that, that's just going to be a huge day. Like we could see a 200 point day. So that is all that scares me. But on the other side of that, I have so much exposure to the upside that this is fine, right? If I lose on these, I'm winning so many other places. Um, so that's fine. Um, and obviously not just this portfolio, but others. Um, so the highest thing that we have expiring is what a five, five twenty for this week. And there we go. That's my complete exposure. So, um, we're sitting at, we're sitting at 600. Um, everything is now a little green because we did get a bounce in the middle of the day Friday and things kind of seem to be a little bit even I believe spy is dropping a little bit this morning but that's fine um, other than that like as far as those um, oh, it looks like DraftKings must be making its way back up a little bit um, we still have these I bought these a long time ago um, they don't have much money left in them but I'm just gonna keep them because all I could get was you know a couple bucks out of those so Hey, never know. Um, so next week, the highest thing I have is one five sixty. Other than that, we're down. We're down low four hundreds. Um, week after that, we're we're at four hundred. Um, and then 
the week after that, I actually have a 400 350. So that's a $5,000 collateral. We collected $450. So, um, almost, almost 10% there. Not quite, I guess that would be 9% on that, but that way collateral's just sitting there and, um, we can, we can collect it little by little and make our way back up. Uh, moving on to June, some 650s and some um, 600s. And I believe, did, are these the ones? Yeah, so I opened these up for like $600 credit. And then everything else is out in January. So I have debit spreads and... Um, and credit spreads. So this is kind of the 700 level by the end of the year, I feel is super safe. Um, and that's where a lot of it got pushed out to, but obviously we have a long time and many, many, many days and many weeks to talk about that. And then we have, we have our leaps going on Dropbox, draft King and snap. Um, they're, they're down after last week, but still I like it. Um, $60 call on snap for, oh, this is, and this is a 2023. So this has over a year. This has over a year. This has over a year. Um, and then the rest of these guys are just a year. So we have a long time on those leaps. Um, other than that, let's see this Saturday. So, oh, if you guys listen to the live stream, apparently there were some problems with posting in the chat. So I'm going to see, I'm going to see what the deal was there. Try to get it all sorted out. So we're fine next weekend. Saturday, we do have my CPA, uh, Sarah coming on to answer any questions that you guys have asked in the, um, in the video that where I asked for questions or in discord, I made a little uh, an area in there. So we're forwarding all the questions to her today. So she can do her, um, her proper research and just make sure that she has, um, correct answers on everything. Um, and other than that, not a whole lot going on. I hope everybody's weekend was very restful and, uh, hopefully that was the last, last bit of insaneness that we see for the past couple of weeks. And now we could take advantage of what's on sale, maybe buy some, buy some stocks for our long term. I was super happy to buy that, um, to buy a few more shares of Tesla for this account. I, oh, I uh, doubled my position in uh, Rolls Royce. So now we're sitting at 2000 shares of Rolls Royce. Um, we haven't made much, uh, much more money on it, but hey, we're up 200 bucks on that. Um, and then QILD, this is just a, uh, a um, basically 10% yielding. They sell calls on the NASDAQ. Um, and I think, do we add, well, we're adding to Planeteer every day. Anyways, we're, we're adding 50 bucks a day to Planeteer. And now we have, uh, 125 shares of Planeteer and yeah, I think that's about it. All right, guys. Well, I hope you guys have a great day. If you have any questions, please ask down below and I will try to get back to them as soon as I'm soon as I'm able, you'll see a huge difference here in a few weeks when I get everything settled with the new house and just taking care of all the odds and ends that you have to go through. It's, a uh, um, it's a little bit different than last time I moved last time. It was just like moving stuff. And now you have to decide on, on a whole ecosystem for your house. So between like, uh, like smart home stuff, light bulbs, smart switches, front doorbells, security locks, security cameras, like all these things are now a normal part of moving into somewhere and making sure that they all function decently together. I mean, it was like two hours or something on a front door lock yesterday, just cause I want it all automated. I don't, I don't think we need to have a key these days. So anyhow, yes, have a great day. And let's make a lot of money.